वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ ट्रिक विद विच यू कैन इंक्रीज द परसेंटेज और डिक्रीज द परसेंटेज ऑफ एनी गिवन नंबर इन मैटर ऑफ सेकेंड्स ओके सो सी इफ लेट से इफ वी हैव टू इंक्रीज फिफ्टी बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो द ट्रेडिशनल मैथड इज बेसिकली यू नो 50 plus 20 upon 100 into 50, and then you do the calculations. So you get 50 plus 10. So answer is 60. Okay. But now I am going to show you a trick with which you will be able to do this in one step. Okay. So basically, what you do is you add. Since we are increasing, increasing the percentage. So we will add twenty to hundred. So we will do fifty into one twenty because hundred plus twenty is one twenty upon hundred. Okay. So now basically, you are trying to find out the one twenty percent of fifty, and cancellations twelve five into twelve is basically sixty. And if you see, that is my answer. So now. you might be wondering how this entire thing happened so let me just give you a very quick explanation so in this step if you look closely i can take 50 common so i'm left with 1 plus 20 upon 100 correct and basically if you take the lcm we get 50 100 20 upon 100 so basically that is nothing but 50 into 120 upon 100 and that was what i just showed you okay so that is the explanation a lot of you all complain that if i show you the trick you all don't understand exactly how did this happen so here is the explanation how is this working okay so students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you can mention in the comment section so let's very quickly try to find uh what will be what will be the value when 60 is added by 10% okay or it is increased by 10% so basically we'll do 60 into 10 plus 100 that gets you 110 upon 100 so the zeros are getting cancelled so final answer is 66 okay now let's very quickly try one more so 20 when you take when it gets increased by 50% of its value so your answer now becomes 20 into 150 upon 100 so your final answer is 30 right so you saw how easy this entire thing became okay now let's try and see what happens when it comes to decrease in the percentage okay so let's say what will be the final value if 80 is decreased by 40% okay so now yes you guessed it right when we are increasing we are adding by 100 then in case of decreasing we should be subtracting from 100 okay so we should finally do 80 into 100 minus 40 is what 60 upon 100 So your final answer is nothing but forty-eight, right? Now very quickly see if we have to do twenty minus ninety. If we have to reduce the value of twenty by ninety percent, okay? So that case, what you should do is twenty. Hundred minus ninety is nothing but ten upon hundred. So the zeros are cancelling, so we we'll get get the value as two. so i hope you all are getting this particular trick okay now students this trick will be very helpful when it comes to discounts also like whenever you go to a shop and then they are saying there is a 20% off let's say if you had gone and bought a um, bought a pair of jeans at uh, let's say 120 dollars and there is a 20% off 
ओके सो देन इन दैट केस वॉट यू शुड डू इज वन ट्वेंटी इन टू हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी इज गोन टू बी एट्टी अपॉन हंड्रेड सो अगैन द जीरोज आर कैंसलिंग सो द फाइनल वैल्यू इल बी नाइंटी सिक्स सो फॉर द पेयर ऑफ जीन्स which was costing 120 will now cost you just 96 dollars okay i hope you are getting how to do this on the go okay so now please understand just very quickly revise when it comes to increasing the percentage we are adding to 100 and when it comes to decreasing the percentage of any value we are decreasing that percentage value by 100 okay and then just doing the final calculation of percentage that is how you will get your final answer so now very quickly let's try for 100 minus uh, 5% so if you had to decrease value of 100 by 5 it's very simple basically 100 into see again this will be divided by 100 100 and 100 is getting cancelled so final answer will be nothing but what is the decreasing 95 so final answer is 95 okay so you saw how easy this entire thing became okay so now <clears throat> let's see what happens uh, when i take a different number let's say if i had to do if i had to add 40 by um, 33% in that case also see things would be so much easier 40 into 133 upon 100 Okay, so this is cancelling. So final answer will be what? Four into one thirty three. Which see, understand here you can definitely cancel and make it two and five. But this is one of this is one of the reason why I took take took this separately because please understand whenever you have ten hundred thousand in your denominator, do not reduce your things because it is very easy to divide any number by ten. Okay, we just have to put the decimal point. But when it comes, like if you had reduced this and made it five and two, so you would have to do multiplication, and then again you would have to do the division, which is a bit tedious to do. Okay, so four into one thirty three is equal to twelve three one carry. So five three two and divided by ten. So final answer is fifty three point two. So you saw how easy this thing became. Okay. please understand whenever you have hundred tens thousands in your denominator do not reduce it unless and until the zeros are getting cancelled you can see in the entire working i just cancelled the zeros but when it happened in a scenario where i can't cancel it further i did not reduce my 10 to 5 okay because that is going to cost you one more step and see understand the more number of steps you do there is a very high possibility or the probability of you doing mistakes also increases okay so now time for your diy do let me know what is <clears throat> what will be the final answer when you increase 30 by 15% okay do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video